It's New Year's Day. It's around 10 a.m. It's cold out, but not too cold. I think it's four or five Celsius, 40 Fahrenheit. And it is dry. It's really foggy, but it's dry, and I'm going north along this path. I'm just north of Corvallis, a couple miles. Still foggy. And I'm thinking and also hoping that the fog will melt off at least a little bit, but uh, we will see. Sorry to break up the optimism and beauty of a New Year's ride, but I want to just show this. This is the other side of things. When I'm bicycling along roads, I do see a lot of garbage. Don't know where it comes from, if this is one person's work, this was an accident, this stuff spilled. Um, but even in places where there's not much population stuff somehow there's all this garbage by the road okay and now I'm going back to concentrating on the beauty there's a red-tailed hawk bird we've seen many times common along road roadways and he has places to go and on the other side of the road it looks like we have some type of housing development going in that cul-de-sac really looks like that's a housing development um which uh well there's good and bad things about that but it is going in what looks like the middle of an orchard and that's always a little bit sad um but i am going to continue up the road i've reached adair village and while i was bicycling up 99w i was thinking I don't know if I went to Adair Village in 2022. I went through it on a bus once or twice, but I don't know if I bicycled through here, bicycled this far north all year. And of course, last year I went a lot further. In 2021, because of the pandemic, I, uh, you know, bicycled uh, locally. And then in 2022, I uh, took more long distance trips. So, but it is kind of weird because this is only, you know, less than 10 miles north of my house and I didn't go there go here all year so now i've crossed it off my list for 2023 and i'm gonna take a drink and then i'm gonna get back going north this is new future home of adair interpretive center well it's the first of january a great day for the future um so as adair village is getting larger they're going to turn this building or a building that will be in this place into uh building uh, that will talk about Adair Village's history, which ties in what we will be seeing soon as I bicycle down 99W. This is Camp Adair and the Wildlife Refuge. I'm tempted to go in and ride around a little bit. And then on the other hand, that's the Coffin Butte Landfill. But both of those things are things I'm not going to see because I'm going to go back on the highway and continue to go north. Look at how green that hill is on such a gray day. This is kind of a hallmark holiday, but one of the reasons why I chose this destination today is because it's in another county, Polk County, and I just thought it would be good to start my year off by going to two, and hopefully three counties. Um, even though, of course, right here, Polk County looks a lot like Benton County. This is Soap Creek, and today it's pretty full, um, just like Oak Creek was, which we saw two days ago, not a surprise. Um, and just like Oak Creek, it's full, but it's not really flooding out of its channel yet. See how that light is flickering? It's not actually flickering. That's an artifact. Anyway, um... Buena Vista Toll Ferry, daily, we've been there before. We're pretty close to Buena Vista. Um, I'm not going that far today though. Um, and it's closed today and I think that's because this is New Year's Day is one of the few days it doesn't run. Could also be maybe high water. Um, and then right ahead, we have this intersection and that's Suver, Oregon, but it's also not really Suver. This is vineyard and winery country, which is kind of an interesting story because um, this area has seen a resurgence of sort, 
all of these small little areas in the Willamette Valley with the wine industry. So there's new businesses going up. But also, if you look at Suver, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe it's Suve. Um, this is it. There's the Richard store, which seems to be closed permanently. Quaint. There is a sign for honey. Other than that, though, there's only a couple of warehouses and a stoplight. Um, and this isn't actually Suver. Suver is actually a mile or less than a mile to my right. Um, this, when this highway was built, uh, this intersection kind of started outside of what was then Suver. Um, and in that way is Airly, where we went over a year ago. I didn't go down that road, but that's another road there. And uh, this is what we have here. And uh, now I'm gonna go down this road towards the original Suver. So this is Suver, built along the railroad line. And there's a picture that uh, says it's from 1888, and I'm gonna zoom in, and then I'm gonna see if I can fade to the historical picture from here. And it looks pretty identical. The difference is, is um, one of the grain elevators is gone. This building here looks more modern to me than in the 1800s, but maybe it is, or maybe it's just been rebuilt to, to look the same. Um, the other thing the article says is that in the 1880s, this was like a real town. Today there's a, a shipment facility here, and there looks like there's some type of um, storage or warehousing over there. Um, but in the article, it talks about in the 1880s into the 1910s or 1920s, there was a blacksmith, a post office, a dance hall. I imagine that there was also basic services like a grocery store if there was a dance hall. Um, but basically, this was a community. And here, it's just an area. There's a couple of houses and then there's these warehouses. But it's not really a community. Um, and there was a lot of communities across the Willamette Valley with interesting histories, sometimes surprisingly multicultural histories. And that's earlier when I was in Adair Village and it said Adair Village history. Well, now looking at Adair Village, you might not think there's a lot of history there, but there was more here. Um, and then of course there was history before European settlement. Um, and so, I mean, I know that things change, but whenever I see a little community like this, I do feel some regret that, you know, we can't see that community as it was and it's basically faded away. And even though some communities are coming back, like where we saw with the vineyards, uh, those communities, you know, those vineyards are interesting, exciting, but they don't really have basic services. So they're not really drawing residents back. They're just drawing visit, uh, tourists back, tourists and visitors. So that's just something to think about. You know, I guess a good day for it because it's New Year's Day. You know, we're thinking of the past becoming the future, all of that. Um, and I'm thinking of, uh, you know, I, I got up early to this ride and it's noon right now and the fog did lift, but uh, I am gonna start heading back home now. In this direction, the road continues to Monmouth and Independence where I went 20 months ago actually, and also Sarah Helmick State Park down this road. And right now I'm kind of tempted to do more. I have actually a lot of energy and the day has cleared up it's gotten a little bit warmer, uh, but the Willamette Valley will still be the, here tomorrow. A lot of places to go this year, don't have to do it all in one day. And uh, this also helps to remind me to err, err on the side of caution. That's a beautiful view. The clouds lifting, the misty hills. So I'm enjoying today's ride. Traffic's a little bit noisy, but that's part of the game. And I'm just uh, heading right back home. I never noticed this before. Maybe this is something that happened in the year that I was gone. But apparently there's a regular weekly um, train show here of model railroads. Um, and so this building here, this long building, actually I looked in the window, I peeked in the window, there's actually a, a pretty elaborate like model railroad in there. 
Um, and of course today is New Year's Day, so it's closed, but I'll have to remember to come up there. Um, that also makes me think, uh, does Adair Village have a history with railroads? Because obviously the rail line is pretty close to here. So that's something I don't know. Um, also, it's interesting because, you know, I said Adair Village is getting bigger and I saw some other townhomes here. Um, and it does have like these interesting little features. I like the park. There's a railroad show. Um, but there's not a post office here. There's not a full grocery store. Uh, so these features are nice, but I like, I'm also wondering as it gets bigger, is it going to have some more of these basic services? That's the kind of thing I think about because I'm old and grouchy. I'm almost back to town. See the hospital buildings over on the hill there. And uh, once I get back to Corvallis, I do have one other little uh, twist to the day. The Willamette is full today. So here was my surprise, which isn't too much of a surprise. Since I've already been to Benton and Polk County, I was just going to cross the river into Lynn County. Uh, you know, and this bridge is like a 10 minute walk from my house. So it's not really that dramatic of a surprise. And like I said, we're going to Polk County. It's kind of a hallmark holiday. Uh, you know, it's not like I'm seeing something wildly different just because I'm crossing the bridge. Um, but you know, it's kind of like I'm starting out the year and just setting this goal, even if it's arbitrary, is a way to remind myself I want to see and do a lot of things this year. The Willamette is high. We can see there's trees here who are, who are submerged. But it's not really in flood stage yet because along here we can see the bank. There's still two or three feet until it meets the bank. So right now this is pretty high, but this is also um, more like normal January now. Normal January, high water, not a flood. I am right outside of Corvallis in Lynn County on a small road. And it's a beautiful day. I like seeing the clouds over the hills. So I'm glad today was a beautiful day um, that we have a break from the rain. And uh, uh, one thing is, uh, like with a lot of my videos, the main point was to go to Suver. But along the way, I saw a lot of other things. So I hope that uh, the whole thing is enjoyable. And I'm just glad I got to start out the new year in this very beautiful, restful day. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it too, but I'm also going to enjoy going home.